video we are going to discuss about how we can display the message box in multiple lines uh, sorry how we can display the text in message box in multiple lines okay usually this is uh, not a real time scenario because message box is something that for our reference we are displaying so we don't bother about it it's in the first line or second line how many lines sorry how many lines it is coming we don't bother so usually message box will display everything in a single line but it's one of the interview question because uh, it is a little tricky it's not tricky actually you need to have one or two keywords you need to know one or two keywords that's it okay so i'll going to explain about uh, what will happen how the message will display in a message box and different kind of scenarios where we can display in a two lines okay so let me show this is this is the uh, message box i have so let me run this now it is starting running now you can see everything combined together usually in other programming languages what happens is you will give this backslash in and that will comes in a loop so let me try the same thing again here as well okay let's see but the results will come in two lines or one line okay so i started executing now you can see everything came as a single line so let me remove this because it has a now it is not identifying okay so this is backslash and is not there in uh, ui path okay so what i usually prefer is this concept this i usually prefer everywhere okay so let me run this now you can see hello underline world you can okay so so this is what we are expecting let me show you another variation apart from environment that new line, new line there is something you can see we got in two lens okay so this is what we need okay so so um this is again i'm saying this is a message box is something that our reference will do so it is not a real time but it's one of the tricky interview questions that i'll recommend everyone to go through it and uh, try different options please subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section so that i can explain more clearly thank you